It's that time of year again. Summer is just around the corner for most of you. It's already the dead of winter here in Australia and we are freezing our little booties off. But most importantly, the June Nintendo Direct is just around the corner and we cannot wait. Actually, we're not even completely sure that it is around the corner. Originally, according to leaks and rumors, it was going to be on the 16th and then it was going to be on the 29th or something. And now there's a dedicated Xenoblade 3 Direct that's thrown everything out of the window and proves that no one but Nintendo actually knows what's going on. But we thought it might be fun to take a few shots in the dark as to what we think Nintendo might reveal at their next presentation. Some of these are based on rumors that have been circulating the internet for a while now, and others are just wild pipe dreams of ours. So we've divided them into two categories, ideas that are actually likely to happen and then ideas that might just be wishful thinking. But make sure you stick around to the end because the wishful thinking ideas are some of the most interesting and some of the most fun. Don't forget to hit the like button down there. It really does help us out a lot. And if you're new to some kind of gaming, maybe hit the subscribe button as well for weekly Nintendo content. So our first prediction has something to do with one of Nintendo's major mascots that still hasn't received their own game on the Switch. We're of course talking about everyone's favorite ape, Donkey Kong. Now we think Donkey Kong deserves a little bit more love than he's received this generation. This game has been rumored to be in the works for quite some time now, and is also rumored to be a 3D Donkey Kong platformer. Donkey Kong is of course known for his 2D entries, but we think he deserves the Kirby Forgotten Land treatment, if you know what I mean. Something more akin to Mario Odyssey or something like that. We can't be the only people pining for a new Donkey Kong game. Obviously, we want some Breath of the Wild 2 news like anybody else, but that probably is more wishful thinking than anything else. But we do think that there will be something Zelda related in the direct. And there are a couple of options to tide us over until Breath of the Wild 2. Ages ago, during Zelda's 35th anniversary, there were tons of rumors flying around about a Twilight Princess in a Wind Waker double pack, and I'm still waiting for that. I actually stopped playing Twilight Princess on the Wii because I just feel like it would be the perfect game to come out on the Switch. Motion controls on the Switch are obviously way better than they were on the Wii, so I'm really hoping that this game's gonna come out. There's also heaps of rumors about the Oracle games getting a Link's Awakening treatment. The engine already exists for Link's Awakening and looks fantastic, so we would also be happy with that announcement. I don't know if it would be a double pack with Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages together, but either way, I'd be excited to play them. Now we know that by the time this Direct comes out, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes will have just been released. But word on the street is that we're getting a new mainline entry to the Fire Emblem series very soon. Now a lot of people are saying, why would they introduce another Fire Emblem title just after they've released one? But Three Hopes is a Warriors game with hack and slash warrior style gameplay. And the traditional Fire Emblem games are like the pinnacle of strategy RPGs. So they're different enough in our opinion. Also, the Warriors game is there to build hype for the series. So why not just play on that? Fire Emblem Three Houses is one of the best selling games for the series. And it's one of our favorite games on the Switch. So why not another entry on the system? It makes sense. And we definitely think we're gonna see it here at this Direct. We do think that there'll be a few announcements regarding the Nintendo Switch Online service, and we think we have some ideas as to what they might be. So back in April, there was a Twitter user named Trash Bandakoot that claimed that he'd found a number of files linked to 4chan, and included in these files were two working emulators for the Nintendo Switch Online service. The first one, under the code name Hyoko, was used to emulate Game Boy games, and the second was named Sloop, and emulated Game Boy Advance games. It also appeared that the emulators had been created by NERD, the Nintendo Europe research and development team, who was also responsible for creating the GameCube emulation technology used in Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So the fact that NERD had been working on these emulators doesn't prove that the leaks are true, but it is very provocative. So I've got a little working theory about what I think might be going on here, right? All right, are you ready? So. For the basic Switch Online service, the basic tier, they're gonna get Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. And then for the expansion pack, 
which includes stuff like the Nintendo 64, they're gonna get Game Boy Advance. That would be cool. I agree. But if that wish doesn't come true, at the very least, we do think that we'll be in for a new batch of Nintendo 64 games. When the expansion pack was first announced, it came with a list of 64 games that we could come to expect. But now they've all been uploaded to the service, so surely we'll have some more to look forward to. The service is still missing some incredible games like Smash, GoldenEye, and Mario Party, so hopefully we can expect to see at least some of these. Speaking of the Nintendo Online service, the expansion pack also gives you access to DLC for certain games. And we think a little bit more of this is on its way. Namely, more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks. Nintendo did promise us when this was first announced that they'd be releasing these periodically over the next year, year and a half to two years, whatever it is. And we think it's time for some more. Now we don't think that there's gonna be any particular theme to these. Some people think that like most of the new tracks are gonna be from the Game Boy Advance era, considering the rumors of the GBA emulators coming to the Switch Online service. We just think we're gonna get eight awesome, completely random courses from the Mario Kart backlog. But Nintendo Directs aren't always about new releases. There are also heaps of games that have already been announced, but we don't have much information on them yet. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are probably going to be the most anticipated games of this year for a lot of people. And so I do think that we'll probably hear something about those in this Direct. But if they're making a whole Direct just for Xenoblade 3, then it's entirely possible that they could be saving all of their Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news for its own Direct as well. We could hear some more information about Splatoon 3, and there was also that Mario and Rabbids tactical RPG game that we heard about last year, and we haven't heard anything since then. So maybe we could get some more gameplay footage or a release date for that game. And the all-elusive Bayonetta 3 is still apparently coming out later this year. So hopefully we can see some more information on that, a gameplay trailer, even a cinematic trailer would be better than nothing. And maybe a release date, hopefully. And honestly, who knows what's going on with Advance Wars at the moment. It's a bit awkward timing, and maybe they'll just put it off indefinitely. Really? Well, it was delayed indefinitely. I don't know, it's there though. Like, surely mm, they'll release there. it. Like, they put the work in. I don't know though. Who knows, it's Nintendo. <laughs> Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. Nah, maybe they will, but I don't know. When is there not some kind of a war going on? Yeah, never. And lastly, for things we think that are actually likely to get announced is something that comes completely out of left field. Something that nobody could have predicted, whether that's the revival of an old IP or a completely new IP of some kind. Take Mario Strikers, for example. In the last Direct, Nobody guessed we were going to get a new entry in that series. Then it comes along, boom, new Mario Strikers game. There's also likely going to be some shadow drops of something, whether these are the things that we don't know about yet or something that we've already said, but there's definitely going to be at least one thing in this direct that nobody could have even dreamed of guessing right. And that's why we all love these directs, right? The mystery. Now it's time for the little bit less likely. Things that we definitely think are still possible, but probably not quite as much as what we've already talked about. I know I mentioned this before, but I really want some Breath of the Wild 2 news. A solid release date maybe, or maybe even a name reveal so I can stop calling it Breath of the Wild 2 and call it what it's actually going to be called. Air of the Exotics. <laughs> Gasp of the Deep. <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not good. It's, it's not, not good. good. If you know anything about me, it's that I love 3D platformers. So I personally would love to see a new mainline Mario entry. The Wii got two Mario 3D platformers in Galaxy and Galaxy 2. And seeing as though the Switch has outsold the Wii now, I think it deserves a second one. Whether this be Odyssey 2 or just something completely different. Hell, I'd even settle for a 2D Mario platformer. It's been even longer since we got one of those, and I just think the time is right. Mario's just been a little quiet recently. Apart from the sports spin-offs that we've had, he hasn't really done a whole lot this year, so I just feel like the time is right. If Nintendo wants to make their 2022 something really special, 
A new Mario game is definitely the way to do that. We're all thinking it, but I'm going to say it, Metroid Prime 4. Could it be a Switch Predictions video without this game? It was announced in like 2017 and we haven't heard a single whisper about it ever since. Honestly, I'm probably going to be dead by the time it comes out, but who even knows anymore? We had to include it though because I guess there is a tiny sliver of hope that it might be released sometime in the next decade. Yeah, all we've got is that stupid image. Well, at least we've got the stupid image. Now we're not industry insiders or anything like that. All of these are purely speculation or personal predictions. And in our mind, it's more fun that way instead of these leaks. We definitely don't like to take ourselves too seriously around here. Make sure you do subscribe to us though to find out if we're actually correct about anything in today's video because we will be covering the upcoming Nintendo Direct if and when it finally happens. Once again, thank you so much for watching another one of our videos. Don't forget to check out the description box below to find us on Twitch and Twitter. We appreciate all of you for making it this far and we'll see you next time. Oh my God, look what you've done. Zoe. <laughs>